creators, you can link to a related video from your short. Here's how. Well, it wasn't that many weeks ago that YouTube announced that they were going to nix links in shorts, particularly clickable links. So now from today, any link that is in the description or a comment on a short will no longer be clickable. They'll still be there, but you just can't click and go through to wherever they're sending it, sending you to. The alternative that YouTube is rolling out is what's something that's called a related video link that will appear on the short in the usual spot down just above your profile picture and channel name. Now, this wasn't supposed to roll out until late September, but YouTube heard a few rumblings from the community. The logical suggestion was, why not have the links ready when you turn off the old clickable links and no longer clickable, at the same time turning those off, turn on the new feature. And so that's actually what they did. They actually delayed turning off those links for another week or two till the end of August. So what happened is now today, they're turning those links off, those clickable links on shorts. And now most people should now have access to related video links. Let me show you how it works. First, you have to have a short, of course, that you want to upload and a video or some piece of content that you want to link to. So let's just assume that I've already uploaded my short, which I have. And now this feature is exclusively on desktop for now. They will be rolling this out to mobile at a later date. But for now, this is how you do it. So if you have a look on the desktop here, you can see I've got a short, the second video here. Now click into the details page. So at some point you have to upload a short. And so clicking into the details page where you set this up, this is a short that I haven't published yet. It is a uh, follow-up short for a video that I actually put out earlier this week. And what you wanna do is in the video details page is come across to this side, the right column here, where it says it's currently unlisted and everything. And if you go down here, right below the restrictions and the visibility, you'll see this one called related video. If you hover over the question mark, it says guide your audience to a piece of your content related to this video. So basically, if the short is related to a longer piece, longer form piece of content, then you can link to it, whether it's a live stream or a video. So let's see how this works. At the moment, my short is linked to none. So I'm gonna click this and it's a very familiar page that you're gonna see, which is basically showing you recent uh, live streams and videos that are public and I believe unlisted as well. So you can link to either unlisted or public uh, is my understanding. And now the video that I wanna to link to is this one right here. So I'm gonna click on that and instantly it's inserted that video right there on my short. Once I click save, that saves the changes and this should appear then on my short. We're gonna test it in a second. So first thing I need to do is make sure that's saved and I need to publish the short. So we're gonna publish the short and my short has just gone public. So now that should be out there in ether. We're gonna give it a few moments for YouTube to recognize and it's now public. So now we're gonna jump over to my iPhone and have a look how it appears on YouTube. I had to re-record the audio on this section because I was getting the audio from the short along with my audio as I was recording this. But basically where I'm pointing right now, you can see a little play button that says collab or react. That is the link to the video that I set up. So this is a short where I'm talking about an aspect of that topic. And now this video is pointing to that live video on the collab tool that I was covering in the uh, tutorial on my long form piece. What this might need if you're making a short where you're going to use a link like this, you might want to add a call to action at the end of your short to let people know that that link will take them to the tutorial or to the full length video or to the podcast or whatever it is that you're linking to. That's, it. That's the related video feature for shorts now going live on people's channels. So if you do shorts and you want to link to a long form content that you haven't like used the edit into a short feature for, you've just recreated something with a third party like Opus or something like that, or you've cut it up yourself in your editing software and uploaded it to YouTube. That is the way to apply it for the time being. Now, you might say, Doug, what if you wanted to still pick a frame for the thumbnail, but yet use this? So I can't do both on mobile and I can't do both on desktop. What do I do? I have an answer for that. 
upload your video on your phone, pick your frame, get it ready, maybe leave it unlisted if you want to, then go over to your studio desktop, find this short that you're about to publish, go and add the related video, up, hit save and update that, and then make it public when you're ready to go. You can have your frame for a thumbnail and related video link all on one short. Let me know if you have any thoughts about this new feature. Uh, are you glad that they've rolled it out right at the beginning of September or the end of August, uh, at just as they're deactivating the old links? Kudos to YouTube for that, I suppose. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know if you're gonna use this feature to link to long form content from your shorts. Well, this is Doug and I'll catch you later. A big shout out and thank you to my channel members. You know who you are and I've listed you on screen.